Let's look at the offensive rookie of the year quarterback odds provided by points bets. No surprise at the top. Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields. Ooh. Only quarterbacks. We need to point that out. Only quarterbacks. Good at the top. Wrong second. Wrong third. <laughs> Trey Lance right, is third. Look right at this. fourth. It's almost like somebody made this list just for, for our show. Here, Chris. <laughs> I mean, hey, listen, I understand the Trevor thing. Um, Justin Fields and Trey. I'm interested in the Justin Fields and Trey Lance thing. So if, if, if you're just listening, it's Trevor Lawrence, most likely quarterback to be named rookie of the year. Field second, Lance third, then Wilson Jones, Davis Mills, and Kyle Trask. Yeah, I mean, hey, listen, Lance, he starts with 49ers, that team, that that could be a real possibility. Right. Real possibility. Um, and, and you know me, I, I wouldn't sleep on Zach Wilson. Here, here's one thing that's jumped out to me, all yeah. right? Yeah. And again – Maybe we could dive into this. Maybe people could tell me I'm wrong. I know I'm not reading everything in the news from every city and all of this. But I am a little into the chatter this time of the year. Trevor Lawrence, there hasn't been much about because mm -hmm. he's injured. He can't quite go. I'm not worried about Trevor Lawrence. No, he's going to be a stud. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. I, I can't sit here and tell you that from what I've read, reading between the lines – it doesn't sound to me like Justin Fields or Trey Lance are blowing anybody out of the water in mm. either one of those cities. Mm. Just from what I'm reading, and again, my experience of reading everything in football for a long, long time and being around it. I just, I'm just interested because there's a lot more than on Zach Wilson. There is real chatter. He is opening eyes daily. And we're he, close to it, so you can like, we, actually we can, hear I can it. hear it more. Yeah. And, and, you know... But, but like, I've heard it from people who are not here outside of league circles. Like, oh, man, hey, I'm people in the Jets are telling me Zach Wilson is just every day. It's unreal. But, like, dad came on here a few weeks ago. He works at a gym with a few Jets players. Yeah. It's all they talk about. You know, comments I hear out of San Francisco sometimes are like, when Trey Lance makes a mistake, he doesn't make it again. Right? I didn't hear that one fucking time with Zach Wilson. <laughs> I just heard... Awesome throw, awesome play, blah, blah, blah. With Justin Fields, it's I'm working on my mechanics after the – I didn't hear that one time with Zach Wilson either. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's something there to be said about that. I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. Yeah. I'm just telling you that's where my mind goes. And as I read into things sure. a little bit, uh, I think sometimes it does. I heard the same stuff last year. I said this with Tua and Justin Herbert. I went, man, you hear like people kind of raving about Herbert. Tua, you just hear like – Average yeah. stuff, and, not, and just there wasn't like hype around sure. it. Hey, he's good. He's it getting could, better. He's it working. It could mean something. It could mean, yeah, that's what I mean. I don't know, but yeah. it's just something that certainly it's popped June. on my radar. It's June. Yes, it's June. Right. I mean, right. That's what you do. It, it, you read August, into things. We'll have actual, you know, they're in pads, they're practicing. Right. Uh, but at this time of year, exactly. Yeah. What else are you going to do? Yeah. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.